So basically what a spirometer is, is a device that measures your lung function as you exhale it. But our technology actually uses a microphone. So the way that we can do that is just by connecting into a simple headphone jack of an iPhone or a computer, for example, and you can actually see the results in real time. So the kind of end game of this is really to connect it up, not just with the user's iPhone, but actually connecting it back to the doctor. We had a series of meetings basically just reviewing all the steps that we do in order to do a, a lung function test and how to do it accurately and how to understand the results of that test so that you know you can say something is abnormal or something is normal. After that point they came up with this prototype of a low-cost spirometer that was really quite innovative. Everything kind of started with Engineers Without Borders, Engineering World Health, uh, and that Abby and I were both on. Then beyond that, the, the hatchery class is kind of where we went next because we don't really have that business acumen. From there, Abby and I both you know, decided that this was something that we were really invested in and wanted to make it a reality. And ultimately, with our novel design, we were able to solve problems such as high maintenance, high cost, um, and difficulty of use. It would allow my patients that have lung disease, asthma, chronic obstructive lung disease, to allow them to measure how they're doing that day. So I think that has a potential application in the real world in terms of really helping my patients guide what they should do. For the first time ever, all of this data from these patients will actually be quantified in one place. Um, and we've talked with a number of pulmonologists who said that that's one of the most exciting aspects of this. It's just an amazing resource for you know, pharmaceutical companies, for public health, for research, epidemiology. Um, at that scale, there's just tremendous opportunities to learn, not just on an individual basis of how people are managing their diseases, but more on a generalized basis of really how asthma works. With 300 million people worldwide with asthma, another 30 million in the U.S. alone, um, and then COPD is rising and getting worse and worse over time. And honestly, I don't think that that has to be the case. And I think that we have the potential to change that.